Red alert! Red alert! Red alert! This is the 40th episode of Scary Siren Fridays. Son of a bitch. And to celebrate it, we were originally going to be doing entry 10 of Mobile Hornets. Get it? Because 10, episode 40, episode 10. Doesn't matter. We were originally going to do that last week, but as you all know, we got sick. So, the number 40 goes on to another Henderson creation known as Cartoon Cat. The same person who made Siren Head. Now, I thought, you know what, since it's also one of his creations, I think he should also be part of the series I'm doing. And we are 10 episodes away from this series from ending in the first season. And uh, Scary Siren Sir Fridays isn't going to be like Sc Scary October. It's once every year. I'm going to take a break from the series for two months. And then I'll come back to it and continue for another 50 episodes. And hang on, I forgot my glove. So, without further ado, we are going to be... Reacting to who is the cartoon cat? Let's find out. Let's react to this. Cartoon cat. Sounds like some Alice in Wonderland type shit music. Yeah, from the way he looks, he looks like Felix the cat. The Adventures of Cartoon the Cat. It was a small cartoon back in the early days of animation that ran Seriously? a few years from 1951 to 1956. It had a small following, made smaller money, and soon the studio went under when the creator was forced to declare bankruptcy. Aww. There was something about Cartoon and her friends that was just creepy according to the audience. It always felt as if she was watching you. It's a she? Second of all, hell no! Where's this at? Is that in the middle of the street? Mate, uh-uh, no, nah. I like cats as much as the next guy. As soon as I see that, when I'm driving, I go... Okay, I either I accept my fate, or I'ma just back up real quick, and then... I'm running, I'm running something over. Noted to say, it didn't help that oftentimes the topics of the shorts was cartoon well, committing right. a very graphical level of violence on her cartoon friends oh, and vice oh, versa, holy or the character design that gave cartoon and her friends very real looking humans oh, and eyes Chucky? on cartoon bodies. Next it week, was Chucky. disturbing enough that it made people nauseous to gaze at it after a while. Pussies. After the studio closed down. <laughs> The show's creator vanished from the public gaze and wasn't seen again until 20 years later Seriously? when they found him dead in his home, having taken his life after a long, miserable time in isolation. It appears that the creator never stopped making episodes, even if no one was watching them. Okay, I understand that. You love the creation that you made and you want people, you want more people to see it. So, you stick to what you like, but you don't want it to end. So when you hear that it's ending, you can just continue making it by yourself. I understand that. Dude should have waited until he was 150 years old for YouTube and could have left this on YouTube. Because YouTube is screwed up. Doing all the music and voices himself, in addition to the cartoons he made, there was a series of disturbing drawings and pictures as well. Hi. All of the art, Cartoons and drawings were given to a close relative who ended Looks up like putting a Mickey them Mouse all rip -off, into honestly. and forgetting about them. When that relative passed in 2010, oh. the storage with all the cartoons' adventures was sold to pay for funeral costs. The new owner, coincidentally a cartoonist, seeing the videos, decided to recreate the show and bring cartoon to the modern age. The following was much Man. larger this time. The cartoonist, being a better animator and able to produce better content, was able to get caught. I can't take this this character seriously. He looks like Felix the Cat on drugs. Cartoon 
a near cult following. Not much had changed though. Cartoon was still graphically violent to her friends, often ripping them apart in horrific ways that were almost obscene. But with a counterculture emerging around that time, people thought it was subversive and had a real message for society. It got to the point where people would get obsessed to the point of dressing up like Cartoon and her friends in very detailed costumes. What the fuck? They began following the show's creator around, leaving him messages at his studio or leaving presents on his doorstop. Sometimes money. Hey son, daughter, what's that in your hand? Aw, oh, you found it in an, a garage sale. Okay, well, close your eyes, baby. S baby, sweetie, I don't know. Close your eyes, ch my child. This won't take long. I'm sorry, but this has to be done. <laughs> Sometimes treats, and more times than he liked, mutilated animals in his mailbox. After that incident, the creator moved to a new home and made his address private. It didn't stop the gifts coming to the studio, but it did stop the ones coming to his home. Getting fed up of gross gifts, he made a public statement that was considering ending the show because he can't put up with some of the things the fan base was doing in cartoon no. name. That the show was fun for a while, but now it's getting to be a burden. A few nights later, he woke up to his alarm going off. Someone was trying to get into his home. Oh crap! He quickly called the police and was told to hide while they got there. Hiding in his kitchen pantry, he saw someone in costume enter the house. Hey. They went upstairs and he heard beastly screaming followed by things breaking. He stayed as long as he could before he suddenly started smelling smoke. They had set his house on fire. Oh! Panicked, the creator left the house and ran barefoot in the night. Looking behind, he discovered that his escape didn't go unnoticed. Nanny. They were following him. Calling the cops on the phone, he let them know what was going on and was again advised to oh, find crap. some way to escape them. He let yeah, sure. I'm running down the street. Where the hell do you think I'm going to go? And another house? Yeah, sure, officer. Let me just run into another house or in the woods while there's a damn person in a cat suit that looks similarly, similarity, I don't know, looks exactly like my ca cartoon character. Yeah, sure, why not? Let the cops know his location and proceeded to keep running down the street to his neighborhood. Sure. He was lucky enough to catch a late night bus. And after explaining the story, he was allowed to call the cops and get an update. This guy sounds like the a South African. who arrived at his house had been killed. Their bodies butchered and the threats were painted on his house in their blood. It was this incident that made the creator cancel Cartoon the Cat. Oh really? One more time. No shit. He didn't tell anyone where he was going. He just wanted to be away from his fan base. Soon he settled down in a small town without any real internet connection and took a job as an art teacher. Everything was calm and soon he relaxed, putting cartoon behind him. Until years later, oh boy. one night, a noise outside his door woke him up. Here we go. He quickly picked up the phone to dial the police, only for another hand to take the phone out of his hand. <laughs> cartoon wants to give you a present. The creator was never seen again. Cartoon the cat never got another season. No shit. Wow. I mean, wow, okay, that was an interesting twist of things. My throat hurts from yelling so much because of this mask. I hate it. I just wish this... I wish that dentist just fixed this stupid tooth. Wow. Um, okay. That took a big turn of events. Though, um... As much as it was a good story to listen to... It still looks like a ripoff of Felix the Cat. Uh, I can't... 
I, I, I have to admit it. I'm sorry. I, as much as I like... I thought that was a fucking wasp. I, as much as I like Henderson, and as much as I like his Sunder... Sunder... His, uh... Siren Head creation, this character, I just... I, I don't think it's that cool. Honestly, I could see him being like Bendy from Betty and the Ink Machine and just being one of those characters. It's a good story nonetheless, but the character itself just... Yeah. But anyways, what do you all think? And I don't want to talk anymore. I want my throat to be... To, uh, to calm down, so I'm going to wait an hour or two before recording Marble Hornets. But yeah, this has been Tyler Prime, and I'll see you guys in the next Scary Siren Friday video. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And go sub like this guy's video. It was good and entertaining. Peace out.